let's get into today's video. This one is a review of the super popular, up here in BC anyways, NF DP3 Team Pant. Try and keep this short to the point. So any questions at all, or if I miss something, which is quite possible, uh, ask away in the comments below. And I'll cut to some riding footage so you don't have to stare at me the whole time. So ENF, E-N-N-E-F, or NF as it's known, uh, it's a Vancouver, BC mountain bike apparel company owned and run by Travis and Sharon. Uh, you can find it at ridenf.com. Uh, they're doing everything locally under one roof, though I'm not sure where the fabric's coming from. I think they list China, Taiwan, Italy, and Switzerland as some sources. Not sure what comes from where, uh, but everything else is done in-house, which is super impressive especially in this day when everybody's just trying to find the cheapest possible. So I've owned and run an apparel company here in BC and can tell you from experience that having things done at home is significantly more expensive. Uh, though it sounds like they have their whole team, a, a whole armada of people behind the company doing work unless it's just the two of them working their asses off <laughs> so but good on them doing everything here amazing so they've been around for a few years they have a pretty stacked team they've got riders like Johan Borelli, Steve Vanderhoek, Matt Bolton just to name a few uh, another one of the things that's super cool about this company is that they do a it's almost like a recycle program or a reuse program where they'll take so say these ones these are a couple of years old these brown ones behind me they'll take these pants I can go back talk to Travis he will give me a discount I guess depending on I've never done it so I guess depending on the condition of your pants how many you're bringing back what you're bringing back give you a discount on new NF gear they'll refurb that so it doesn't end up in the landfill put it on their website and resell it amazing i don't know i mean somebody can correct me if i'm wrong but i can't think of any other mountain biking company in the industry doing that so right there being a bc company doing everything in-house having that recycle resell program is that's amazing that's unbelievable so that puts them heads up above any other company in my book just being local and having that reselling program so this review is on the dp3 team pant which i've been running for a few years i've been wearing these brown ones for a couple years i've got these wine colored now roan is wearing a pair of black um i've also worn fox roan once has worn fox pock to name a few um i've paid full price for all these i'm not associated with nf travis or any of the guys at all i'm just a a dude who buys bike stuff and likes trying to to let people know how and what it's all about i guess let me start by saying that i love the pants uh i've worn them long days pedaling rainy days sunny days park days and they've been outstanding let's get into why so we can start i guess we'll start with the fabric so the fabric is super light and stretchy uh, it's nylon 10 percent spandex it also has a DWR coating, which keeps, you know, you can, they're not rain pants, so they will get wet if you're out in the constant rain with them. But they'll, they'll shed puddles, a, a sprinkle sort of thing. Well, they'll shed it really well, and they dry really fast as well. I'm wearing Chromag Rifts under them right now. They fit amazing. I've worn Dekine pads as well, which are a bit bigger and bulkier, and they fit great as well. The brown pair I have, I've had for a couple seasons and they show amazing. There's no seams popping. The stitching is all intact. There's no pulls in the fabric. They're, they're super bomber. The graphics aren't peeling. It's like a rubberized graphic. I don't know if it's sublimated on there, or how they've, they've got it on there, but the graphics aren't peeling. Zipper pulls, it's, I'm really impressed. They've, they've been for the abuse that these pants have been through for two years, getting washed in the washing machine and stuff they've held up amazing. There's nothing wrong with them. Uh, the cuffs, we talked about the cuffs at the bottom. So the cuffs are tight enough to not get caught in your drivetrain, but not too tight. Like, uh, oh, you can't see them behind me. I've got the pox over here. The pock cuff is, is really tight and the NFs are perfect and they have enough stretch in them that they're super easy to slide in and out of. And the length and the fit of the pants, uh, they're not floody. They're not sitting way up, halfway up your calf sort of thing, which some of the kids, I don't know, maybe they prefer that. Maybe I'm out of touch. Maybe it's supposed to look like that, but these fit nice for me without dragging in the drivetrain. The color options and graphics are awesome. Uh, they're practical while still being stylish and they're practical for a pant that plays in the dirt, you know, like a 
some of these companies that sell white mountain bike gear um <laughs> i don't get it maybe you know if you're a pro and you get new gear every week but playing around in the mud and white gear uh just to me doesn't doesn't, doesn't really work they're all pretty dark toned the pants like i said being practical and then you can get different colored graphics on them they've got pockets the seaming and the seaming and the pockets are all on point so on the right side you've got two bigger pockets uh, one you can get whole hand in, like phones and stuff. The other one, cards, whatever. And then the left side could be, I don't know, lift pass or keys, whatever. So there's three. Two bigger on the right, one little guy on the left. And then the main feature of these pants that blows my mind, that I had no idea would be so amazing, was the waist. They have like a big, wide, spandexy waistband. So it's like a big belt, big spandex belt. There's no buttons, there's no zippers. Do not miss them at all. Uh, it encompasses a few different sizes because it's stretchy, though their sizing chart is is great. It's on point as well, which I'll put on the screen. And I can't, I cannot overstate how comfy this waistband is. It's crazy. Uh, I'm a size 36 to 38, <laughs> depending on what season we're coming off, what month. So I'm on the bigger end right now, working off the, the winter weight. Uh, so 36, 38, depending. Uh, I've got long legs, I'm 6'2", and I'm running the double XL, and they fit amazing. I like a little movement, a little freedom in my pant. I'm not racing the clock like Loke Bruni, and unlike the seaming trends, I don't think it's necessary to have pants so tight that you can see your underwear seams. A lot of the kids these days seem to, the tighter the better. I'm not that guy. I like a little movement. So I went up a size and the fit is perfect. I've had many, many long days pedaling in these and I have no complaints. Yes, they're a little warm if it's warm out, but most days you'd be wearing shorts if it's a warm day. If it's a pants day, you know it, and it's a pants day. That being said, I don't think that it would hurt to have some sort of laser venting or something on the inseam. I think that would cool them down and make them that much more versatile. If they just had a few holes, a little like double row of little laser holes to, to give it a little venting on the inseam. So to summarize, I'm not sure there's a better pant on the market. You tell me what you think below, if you've run these. Uh, I've obviously not worn all the different brands, uh, but going on my experience and what I've worn and what I see in the market, I think these are tough to beat. Plus, I love supporting local brands, as you can tell by my bike, 1UP and Chromag spec'd out, which are all local to me as well, so NF is a no-brainer to me. Uh, chuck in the reselling used aspect and the fact that they're obsessed with mountain bikers, not to mention that the pants, they just plain work. They work, they're legit. Uh, they're so well thought out, it's hard to find fault. And that's why I think they're the best on the market right now. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one, which should be, there might be a couple riding videos in between, but should be an updated review of the MTX ceramic braking pads. Is the honeymoon over? We'll see. Thanks guys.